Hello, guys. This is Teacher Oscar. I hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to review comparatives and superlatives. Are you excited? Let's go. Comparative. For short words, we need to add er at the end of the words. And then. For example, strong becomes stronger. Stronger. And we add than. Stronger than. We have another word here. Brave. Brave. Brave becomes braver. Braver than. In this second option, we have brave with an E. So we keep the E and add an R. Stronger than. Braver than. These are for short words. Short words. We also have short words with a Y, like the word crazy. So we need to add I plus ER. Crazier than. Crazier than. Now we also have short words when we have a vowel plus consonant. All right, for example, here, hot. We have H, then a vowel, then a consonant. We need to double the letter. Hot becomes hotter. Hot becomes hotter. Hotter than. Hotter than. We also have the comparative with long words. We have long words. For example, more. More beautiful than. So in this comparative, we have a long word, beautiful, beautiful. We have three syllables. Beautiful. So if a word is long and has three syllables or more, we use more, more beautiful than, more beautiful than. Now we have superlatives. If we use short words for superlatives, we need to use est at the end. For example, Strong becomes strongest. It is very important that you guys use the. The strongest. The strongest. If the words end in E, we only need to add ST. For example, the bravest. The bravest. Good job. If the word ends with a Y, like crazy, we do the same thing. We say the craziest. We need to change it for an I, E-S-T. The craziest. If we use the word hot, for example, we have vowel plus consonant, we need to double the letter plus E-S-T. The hottest. The hottest, double T. If we use a lawn word, a lawn adjective, we would say the most beautiful, for example. The most beautiful. This is used with long adjectives. The most beautiful. All right, let's get to the theory. Comparatives and superlatives. Here we have a dog, the horse, and the elephant. The comparative would be a dog is faster than an elephant. So we're using faster, er, and then than, faster than an elephant. A comparative compares two things. We also have the superlative. The horse is the fastest. 
of the three animals. So from all these three animals, the horse is the fastest. We need to use the and ESD, fastest. A superlative compares one thing to all the others in the same group. So the horse is the fastest of them all. A dog, I'm comparing the dog and the elephant. A dog is faster than an elephant. So comparative usually compares two things. Superlatives is only one thing in a group. All right, these are the rules. If we have one syllable like fast or young, for comparative, we add ER, faster, younger. And the superlative, we add EST, the fastest, the youngest. Remember, for the comparative, we use than. So we have an example. A dog is faster than an elephant need to use faster. It is incorrect to say more fast. We say faster. The superlative, we use the adjective plus EST. The horse is the fastest of the three animals. It is incorrect to say the more fast, the correct way, the fastest. I hope you're understanding. You can always go back if you have questions. All right, if we have one syllable adjectives ending in E, we keep the E, all right? For example, the comparative of nice is nicer than, and the comparative of strange, stranger than. If we wanna use the superlative, we add ST, the nicest, the strangest. Examples, comparative, adjective plus R. Harry is nicer than Frank. Harry is nicer than Frank. Superlative would be the adjective plus ST. Dean is the nicest. Dean is the nicest. Which is the strangest? What do you think? Is it Frank? I don't know. But in this case, we're talking about the one that stands out from the crowd. The one that is the nicest in the group of three. All right, what happens if we have one syllable with consonant and a short vowel and consonant? For example, big or hot. We have consonant, vowel, consonant. We double the last consonant and add yar for comparatives or EST for superlatives. So big becomes bigger than and hot becomes hotter than. For the superlatives, we say the biggest and the hottest. We have double T, double G. So big becomes biggest. All right. Now, we also have other examples. Monday was hotter than Sunday for the comparative. Or Tuesday was the hottest day, superlative. So Tuesday is compared in the group as the hottest day. Okay, so superlatives is only one day in the group. Comparative, we're comparing two things, Monday and Sunday. All right, what happens if we have two syllables ending in Y? What we do is we consider them short adjectives. So we just need to remove the Y and add I-E-R for comparative and I-E-S-T for superlative. So happy becomes happier than, crazy becomes crazier than. For the superlatives, the happiest, the craziest. So happier, we eliminate the Y, we add the I, ER, 
and happiest. We eliminate the Y and add IEST. Is this clear? All right, perfect. We have some other examples here. The comparative. Mary is happier than Susan. Mary is happier than Susan. Superlative. Mike is the happiest. Mike is the happiest in the group. Yes, perfect. If we have two or more syllables, okay, that don't end in Y, just two or more syllables, we need, in this case, to use more or the most. For example, famous. It becomes more famous. Not famous, sir. That is incorrect. We say more famous. Expensive becomes more expensive. More expensive down here. And then the superlative, the most famous, not famousest, the most famous. For expensive, the most expensive. So for long adjectives, we need to use more or the most. Examples, comparative, more plus adjective. A car is more expensive than a bike. In the superlative, the plane is the most expensive way to travel. Common exceptions, these are adjectives that are considered irregular. So we cannot use good and we cannot use bad for comparative or superlatives. We need to use better than, worse than for comparative, and the best or the worst for superlatives. Examples, comparative. You are a better singer than John. You are a better singer than John. More good, incorrect. Gooder, incorrect. The correct way is better. Superlative. It was the worst decision she had ever made. The worst is correct. Most bad, incorrect. Baddest, incorrect. Be careful with these two common exceptions. We have a few more exceptions. For example, far becomes further or further. Farther is for distance. Further is more for explanations or abstract things. Then we have old becomes older or elder and many or much becomes more, little becomes less. As for the superlative, we have the best, the worst, the farthest, remember for distance, the furthest for abstract depth. Then we have the oldest, the eldest, the most for many and much, and the least for little. We will review this in class next time in more detail. Okay, here we have the explanation. Further, a metaphorical distance. There is room for further improvement in English, for example. Or, further re research is necessary. Additional, further, more. Now, how much farther is it to the airport? Farther is a physical distance or length. For example, the red car was driven farther than the blue car. Is a measurable distance. Is that clear? I hope so. Okay, here we have a summary of the comparatives and superlatives. Take a quick look. You can stop the video if you want. Some exercises. How can we complete these five questions? Who's tall, you or your best friend? 
So you're comparing you and your best friend. So we need to use the comparative taller. Who's taller? You or your best friend? Good job. What about here? Number two. Who's, and we're using fast, cheetah or deer? Are we comparing two things or one thing in a group? Correct, two things, so we need to use the comparative. Is this a short or a long adjective? It is a short adjective, so we say, who's faster, cheetah or deer? Good job. Number three, the day of the week is Monday. So we're comparing a day of the week. So, is this is just one day in a week, in a group. What was the exception for bad? The worst. Yes, correct. The worst day of the week is Monday. Number four, which is watching TV or reading? Which is better? Which is better, watching TV or reading? Don't read this the, this shouldn't be here. Which is better, watching TV or reading? And the last one, which is, and we're using easy for you, speaking or understanding English. So we have two things, speaking or understanding English. This is a short adjective, which is easier for you, speaking or understanding English. Okay, here we have some other pictures that you guys can look at and practice on your own. You can stop the video if you want. Peter is older than Tom, for example. We have the comparative. Sarah is younger than Marta. Dan is taller than John. The woman is stronger than the man. An elephant is bigger than a pig. James is angrier than Polly. Perfect. All right. So, little becomes less for comparative, the least for superlative. Dirty becomes dirtier, the dirtiest. Big becomes bigger or the biggest. And quiet becomes quieter, the quietest. Clever becomes clever or the cleverest. Loud becomes louder or the loudest. Newer becomes new becomes newer or the newest. And fast becomes faster or the fastest. Slow becomes slower or the slowest. Old becomes older or the oldest. Fat becomes fatter for comparative or the fattest with double T. Tall for comparatives, taller, or the tallest for superlatives. Disgusting is a long word, so we use more disgusting or the most disgusting. Beautiful is also long, so we say more beautiful or the most beautiful. Good becomes better for comparatives or the best for superlatives. Short shorter for comparatives and the shortest for superlatives. Dangerous becomes more dangerous because it's a long adjective. Long adjective. So more dangerous for comparative, the most dangerous for superlative. Difficult becomes more difficult for comparative, the most difficult for superlative. Expensive becomes more expensive for comparative, the most expensive for superlative. Delicious becomes more delicious for comparative, the most delicious for superlative. 
happy becomes happier for comparative, the happiest for superlative. Sad becomes sadder for comparative, the saddest for superlative. Strong becomes stronger for comparative, the strongest for superlative. Rich becomes richer for comparative, the richest for superlative. All right, guys, this was everything for today. If you need to go back and review the video, please do so. I will also be posting some extra practice on Google Classroom and Teams so you can practice comparatives and superlatives. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.